Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture number 4 of this unit 6 computer aided process planning. Today this is Mr. Suyog Patil, a system professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Sharad Institute of Technology College of Engineering, Adrao, Ithalkanji. Today in this lecture we are going to see this material resource planning, okay, MRP material resource planning and just in time technique. So first of all, we will see what is meant by this material resource planning. It is also called as MRP. Okay. This MRP is a computer-based inventory control or inventory management system. Okay, MRP is a computer-based inventory management system designed to improve this productivity for the businesses. Okay, in order to improve this productivity of this industries or this businesses, this MRP is designed. Companies who uh, MRP system to estimate this quantities of this raw material and schedule their deliveries okay basically these companies uh, implement this MRP's system to estimate the quantities of this raw material and this their schedules or their deliveries okay so again it is a planning technique MRP is a planning technique which converts this master production schedule of an end products into detailed schedule for raw materials and their parts used in their end products okay so is mrp is a production uh, planning technique product planning scheduling techniques which converts this master production schedule into this parts detailed schedule okay that means how much parts are required and at what quantities and what time as well as then again this mps that means this master production schedule is the plan that a company has developed for this their production inventory and stopping etc okay this mps is basically used is this plan that company has developed for production inventory and stopping then this mrp is a means for determining this number of parts that components and the materials needed to produce a component also this material resource planning mrp is a production planning scheduling and inventory control system okay mrp is a production planning scheduling and inventory control system used to manage this manufacturing processes used to manage these manufacturing processes as well as to co control the cost of this inventory cost of the production okay and in order to meet this customers demand in on time as well as this mrp helps okay so therefore this material resource planning are is a production uh, is a planning technique which is used nowadays in this industries then why this mrp is important why it is required is mrp so it is a framework mrp is a framework to help business plan operations then control their inventories okay and organize their logistics as well as okay it uh, it plans then it again control their operations and it also manages their inventory okay organizes their logistics transports as well as so this proper implementation of this mrp ensures that the manufacturers have the right quantity of the materials at the right time okay for their production take to take place so therefore this mrp helps in this scheduling controlling and managing as well as then objectives of these mrps okay so the first objective of this mrp is inventory production okay it ultimately helps it ultimately controls and plans this materials required so it ultimately helps this reduction in the inventory as well as the reduction in the inventory cost as well then again it determines how many components are needed and when in order to meet this mps master production schedule okay and also it reduces this production and delivery times okay this mrp helps in reduc reducing this delivery times as well as in the production time it reduces the production time required as well as as this uh, components needed are available at this time okay so delay time can be reduced it helps to meet this delivery deadlines by the customers by the sorry by the coordinating inventories okay procurement and production decision okay 
by controlling this uh, coordinating inventory is procurement and production decision this mrp helps to meet the customers delivery date or expectations then again in realistic commitments this mrp improves the customer satisfaction okay this customer satisfaction by uh, by implementing these realistic commitments okay to fulfilling these realistic commitments again is mrp improves the customer satisfaction it ensures this materials are available for production and products are pro products are available for delivery to the customers this mrp ensures this products or this raw materials available okay for the production as well as it ensures this uh, products are available for this delivery okay to the customers then again it maintains the lowest possible material and this product level in the store okay as we discussed this mrp helps to control this inventory okay inventory control then again plan it plans the manufacturing activities this mrp plans a manufacturing activities as well as then delivery schedules and the purchasing activities purchasing decisions also uh, taken by the help of this mrps okay so these are the some of the objectives of this material resource planning now fundamental concept of this mrp okay so this mrp is again depends on this two terms that is independent demand and it depends on this dependent demands okay in case of this independent demand the demand for the product is not directly related with the demand for the other items okay this independent demand is the demand for the product is not directly depends on the demand of the other items but in case of this dependent demand this demand of the product is directly depends on the de demand of the other products okay so independent demand is also demand organizing the outside the plant production system okay this independent demand means it uh, the, the demand which organizes the outside the plant for or production system while this dependent demand is demand for the components okay that means the demand of required or the requirement of this component or this assembly or the production it is related with the production and this independent demand is related with this other quantities or other controls okay functions of this mrp okay the basic functions of this material resource planning are it inventory control bill of material processing and elementary scheduling okay this mrp is the function of this mrp is to control this inventory or to prepare this bill of material or bill of processing material processing and this elementary scheduling okay scheduling also then mrp helps organizations to maintain low inventory levels okay by controlling this inventory and by scheduling this uh, inventory okay are this raw materials required it uh, maintains the low inventory levels then companies need to control the types of this quantities of materials they purchase they plan which products are to be they produced and in what quantities and ensures that they are able to meet the current and future customer demands okay at low lowest possible cost this material resource planning helps to produce this materials or to produce this components at lowest possible cost by controlling this inventory inventory control by reducing this inventory control cost by scheduling again we can reduce the production or delay time okay as well as by controlling this logistics as well so it can reduce this cost ultimately at the lowest possible cost we can manufacture this components then again making a bad decision in any of these areas will make a company lose money we will see examples of this if a company purchases insufficient quantities of item used in manufacturing it may be unable to meet the meet the contract obligations or to the supply products on time okay so insufficient quantities are purchased or the decision taken in this purchase procurement of this quantities if it is bad or wrong it ultimately helps in this supply of the product on time then if a company purchases excessive quantities of item the money is wasted okay if excessive excessive 
order or is placed or quantities are purchased uh, it the ultimately increases this uh, stock or we can say this inventory and the money is wasted in the stock then beginning of the production of an order at the wrong time can cause customer deadlines to meet this miss okay so start of this production or this production schedule if it is wrong this decision is taken in the production schedule or beginning of the production then it may cause this customer's deadline to be missed so these are the some of the examples okay because of this this mrp is very much important this material resource planning is a tool to deal with these problems okay by providing answers to the several questions such as what items are required how many items are required and when these items are required okay, by answering such a questions this material resource planning can deal with this uh, inventory control problems in this industries so these are the functions of this mrp now we will see the inputs and outputs of this material resource planning okay so input of this material resource planning are bill of material files here we can see bom file okay so this bill of materials how many components and which are these components are required for this production system then master production schedule okay so the production schedule how many components and which are the product final products are scheduled in this plan then that master schedule production schedule is also required for this mrp as an input then inventory status file okay this how many components are available in this store okay that is also very much important and it is that is also the one of the input to this material response planning okay and finally it gives this output reports in terms of this recommended production schedule okay this output of this mrp is recommended production schedule as well as this recommended purchasing schedule okay how many component components are required or how many components that company have to purchase as well as at what time and this what are what should be the production schedule how many components in uh, at how many how many days or at what time okay it should be produ uh, produced that can be controlled with the help of this mrp okay these are the input and outputs of this mrp system a benefits of this material resource planning okay this mrp helps in this inventory reduction this mrp reduces this inventory as well as in this inventory cost okay then again reduction in the production and delivery time it reduces this time or delay time okay, as well as and it increases the efficiency of this production system then faster response to the market changes this mrp helps to response this uh, market change okay quickly then it improves this labor and equipment utilization this mrp as it is uh, help in for this schedule and production schedule and requirements okay and as well as it controls so it improves this labor and equipment utilization as well as then better inventory planning and scheduling okay it helps but in inventory planning and scheduling as well then reduce the inventory levels without reduce the customer service okay so these are the some of the benefits of this mrp system similarly some limitations are as well as okay so drawbacks of this mrp are inaccurate information can result in misplanning overstock or understock or lack of this appropriate resources okay so therefore this accurate information should be there okay we have to provide a it is a software technique so we have to give inputs to this mrp system accurately if we provide by mistakenly inaccurate information it can result in this misplanning or overstock or understock of this inventories so inaccurate master schedule will provide wrong lengths of this time of our production okay hence it affect this planning of this production planning okay so these decisions are very much important then mrp system can be costly and time consuming to set up okay 
this implementation of this MRP systems in this industries is a uh, time consuming process as well as it requires some additional cost okay so this is also one of the drawback of this MRP system now after this material resource planning one more important term is just in time okay just in time it is a technique just in time is a management strategy that aligns raw material orders from supplies directly with this products or schedules okay so therefore this just in time is a strategy which helps this uh, or again we can say this it is a used to increase the efficiency and decrease the waste okay just in time technique is used to improve this efficiency and it also reduces this waste then it is a manufacture uh, just in time manufacturing is also known as the Toyota production system okay it is sometimes TPS it is also known as Toyota production system because this car manufacturer Toyota adopted this system first in 1970s okay in 1970s this Toyota manuf car manufacturer first adopted this just in time system technique okay to control this inventory so a highly coordinated processing this just in time technique is a highly coordinated processing system in which goods move through the system and services are performed just as they are needed okay that means when these components are required and they are needed at that time only these components are uh, passed or these components are taken or purchased okay in short this just in time inventory system is all about having the right material at the right time at the right place and and the, in the right quantity that means through this just in time technique we can get this right amount of this material or this right material in right quantity okay and at this right place and at correct timing and whenever this it is required okay so therefore this delay can be avoided okay and this just in time technique can also be used in this inventory controls as well as so what are the benefits of this day JIT then okay this it lowers the stock holding means a reduction in storage space which saves rent and insurance cost okay this JIT gives this right uh, quantity at the right time so it reduces ultimately it lowers the stock holding okay that means reduction in the storage space or we can save the rent okay and as well as this insurance cost as well as as inventory is control then again as stock is only obtained when it is needed so less working capital is tied up in this stock okay so stock control or this inventory is controlled okay then again there is there is less likelihood of stock uh, perishing becoming obsolete or out of this date okay then again this JIT avoids the build up of unsold finished product that can occur when sudden changes in the demand when there is there are some certain changes in the demand of this customer's requirement okay, this JIT avoid this build up of this unsold finished product or this un, uh, unnecessary inventories okay so less time is spent on checking and reworking of this product of others as the emphasis is on going the work right for first time okay so it reduces this time in this checking and tooling okay so these are the some of the benefits of this just in time technique thank you thank you so much friends thanks for watching this video if you like this video please share comment and like this video then subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for more videos on this CAD CAM subject and thanks for watching thank you thank you so much